You've probably noticed so far that most of what we do in algebra is just simplifying complicated mathematical sentences. We touched briefly on how to use brackets. Let's dig a little deeper. So we know that brackets allow us to group things together. This means, for example, that when we multiply a set of brackets by a number, we're actually multiplying every term in those brackets by that number. This special little trick allows us to do something called factorizing. If we had 2 plus 2x, we could factorize it by writing it like this instead. We say that 2 is a common factor of both 2 and 2x, which means we can cleanly divide both of these by 2. This is all that factorizing is. Factorizing doesn't always make things smaller, but it does simplify things. And we know that when we simplify things, it makes it easier to see what's going on. The opposite of factorization is expansion. Expansion is simply when we multiply everything back out. Both expansion and factorization come in handy later on. Let's look at an example with two variables. Where do we start with this? When we factorize, we're doing it for a reason. If we wanted to gain a factor of x, we would factorize this in terms of x. We draw brackets around everything, take an x outside, and rewrite the insides so that if we were to expand it back out, we'd have the original expression. See how we've technically divided each of these terms by our common factor x? This is how we can rewrite it while keeping it the same. This might seem all a bit useless, but check out this example. When we have something complicated in maths, we like to factorize it and simplify it as much as we can to make things easier. Don't let all those a's and b's and squares scare you. Just look for like terms, which means you just need to turn these terms into apples and oranges. a squared b's can be apples, and a b squared's can be oranges. So all the says is 6 apples minus 4 oranges minus 4 apples. Much easier. We can't subtract oranges from apples, obviously, because that would be weird, but we can subtract 4 apples from 6 apples, which is just 2 apples. Now we can spot a common factor. 2 is obviously a common factor. Here it's 2 times 1 apple. Here it's 2 times 2 oranges. But both of these terms also have a common factor of a and a common factor of b. So let's pot those outside the brackets as well and divide each term by them. Check for yourself that if we multiply each term inside the brackets by 2ab, everything goes back to how it was. We'll stop here, as this is as simple as this gets. While we're still in the mood, let's talk about rearranging. Remember our operations? Bed mass? We can use them to rearrange and solve equations. And remember how the order we do it in is really important? We solve equations in the order bed mass. But before we solve an equation, we usually have to rearrange it. And we do this in the order SAMDEB, which is just bed mass backwards. Go figure. Let's say we have this equation. We want to rearrange it so that it's in terms of x instead of y. In other words, we want to rearrange it so that it says y equals something x instead of x equals something y. Let's remember the order we rearrange in. SAMDEB. Let's go. Subtraction and addition are done first. See that plus 4? We can move it to the right hand side by subtracting 4 from both sides of the equation. Remember, to keep the equation equal, we always do the same thing to both sides. By subtracting 4, we undo the plus 4 on the left, and we gain a subtract 4 on the right. What's next? In SAMDEB, multiplication and division are up next. See that divided by 2? Let's undo it by doing multiply 2 to both sides. Okay, so divided by 2 disappears from the left. And how do we write it on the right hand side? We are multiplying everything by 2 on the right. This is when we use brackets. What do we have left? We still need to divide by 4 here and subtract 2 here. But what order do we do it in? Check SAMDEB. Subtraction comes before division. Let's subtract that 2 from both sides. And now finally, let's do that divided by 4. See how we used another set of brackets to show that everything on the right is being divided by that 2? Now look, we have an equation for y, 
just what we wanted. Later on we'll look at how to use bid mass to solve equations in the right order.